Recently, I came across an interesting theory that suggests we live inside a black hole. And I started to wonder, is it really so? Today I'll tell you how our universe originated, why black holes are called portals to other worlds, and how scientists continue to prove all these facts. You will also learn how soon we might be able to travel through time together. Enjoy! Have you ever wondered how our universe came into being? Where did all these stars and planets come from? How were the first atoms formed? Scientists have long proposed a theory that fairly comprehensively explains all these aspects. However, even it cannot explain some facts. So today, I would like to delve deeper into how the universe originated, whether other worlds exist, and whether there is someone or something akin to a god that governs our reality. And I'd like to start with the theory of the Big Bang itself, and no! It's not the TV show that has become very popular nowadays, it's a well-founded assumption of how our world came into existence. The theory itself suggests that about 14 billion years ago, our universe was a small point consisting of extremely dense and hot matter called singularity. Molecules, atoms, protons, and electrons, none of these simply existed. And at one moment, all this mass exploded for some inexplicable reason. That's when our world, which is constantly expanding in all directions, came into being. Gradually, the first elementary particles began to form. How did this process happen? Scientists describe it as a phase transition. Personally, I find another description more understandable. It's something akin to condensation, but with matter accumulating and forming new substances. All elementary particles and physical forces, as scientists assure us, formed in a fraction of a second, and then more complex substances began to appear. More shocking seems to be that the explosion that occurred happened for unknown reasons. After all, the singularity was in a stable state, and there simply were no prerequisites for this. Even scientists resort to God when explaining this process. After all, such a thing simply couldn't have happened without external intervention. What do you know about black holes? No, it's not your torn sog that you put on before going to visit someone. These are formations in our universe. They are characterized by having simply enormous mass. It's so huge that black holes literally engulf everything around them. They were first talked about in the distant 18th century, and the term itself was introduced by the theoretical physicist John Archibald Wheeler in 1967. How did they form? There are several hypotheses. For example, after massive stars die, black holes form in their place. There is a so-called collapse inside a celestial body, when all its mass begins to converge to one point. There are also supermassive black holes, which usually lie at the center of galaxies. They're so heavy that even counting their mass is impossible. Scientists believe that such objects arose as a result of absorbing other heavy stars. And there is another idea that there are primordial black holes that could have appeared at the moment of the Big Bang. Many wonder, what happens if you get into a black hole? Well, how to answer you? You'll be torn apart into atoms or even smaller particles. And if you still manage to survive, you will gradually sink deeper into the object, while space around you will compress more and more. Escaping from a black hole is impossible. At least, scientists don't know how. After all, even particles at the speed of light cannot do this. That's why black holes are invisible to us, as they simply absorb all emitted light. A real cosmic vacuum cleaner. But then, how did scientists take the first picture of a black hole? It's all about electromagnetic and other radiations emanating from all bodies in the world. And they don't emanate from a black hole, so scientists took a picture of it and then simply highlighted all the radiation with color. That's how the first picture of a black hole appeared. And what's inside such objects? No one really knows for sure. But scientists speculate that inside, the laws of physics simply don't work, 
causing space and time to distort greatly. It is rumored that because of this, a gap appears in reality, through which we can enter another universe. Sounds cool, doesn't it? And there are a lot of black holes in our world. So maybe parallel worlds do exist after all? We just can't travel to them yet, very interesting, isn't it? Remember I mentioned that the universe is constantly expanding? Well, there's this parameter called the average density of the universe. And if it reaches a critical value, the world will keep expanding forever. But if this density is above the critical value, it will keep contracting indefinitely. So there's a theory suggesting that we live inside a black hole. Well, or at least, we used to be inside one. Personally, I understand this theory like this. There is a certain mass needed to form a black hole. This mass is what they call the universal density. And if this parameter is below the critical value, the black hole starts to decay. So maybe we were once part of that black hole mass that, for some reason, decayed? For this to happen, something heavy needs to leave it, causing it to stop compressing. All the matter trapped inside would then be released abruptly, causing an explosion and space around it would start expanding. That sounds quite logical, don't you think? No? Yes? <laughs> okay, never mind. But there's another theory suggesting that our entire world exists within the colossal dimensions of a black hole situated within a larger universe. And our universe is just expanding inside this black hole. Purely theoretically, this means that other universes could exist within universes. This brings to mind all the jokes and speculations about living inside a simulation or a computer game. And by the way, would you like a video on this topic? This theory supports the idea that, with the help of black holes, we could travel to other worlds. But how to prove it? That's much more complicated. To do this, a person would somehow need to enter a black hole and come out of it. But where to find the key to this door? Ah, who knows? Do you know how many black holes exist in our world? Well, I don't know, and neither do scientists. There are only assumptions that there are several thousand such bodies in our galaxy. And now imagine that all these black holes are actually portals to other worlds. So maybe aliens do exist, at least in other universes? It seems to me that there are plenty of them in our world alone, not to mention others. What could happen in such universes? Well, actually anything. There are statements that all black holes transport substances from our world to another, and you know, I think this theory is quite plausible. After all, all the atoms and billions of tons of matter that enter black holes cannot just disappear without a trace. They must go somewhere or be stored somewhere, and other universes could be such places. So, according to this theory, black holes are doors. There is an entrance on one side and an exit on the other, so maybe our world appeared as a result of just such a door? All of this fits perfectly with the theory that we are inside a black hole, so there are a bunch of different universes and worlds that are closely interconnected. And this is called the multiverse. So in a parallel universe, there is the same me who became a billionaire and is currently relaxing somewhere in Hawaii. It's a pity, of course, that it's not me. And what is an event horizon? It's that point in a black hole from which, theoretically, it's impossible to escape. The thing is, even light, which has a tremendous speed, cannot leave a black hole. I've already talked about this and how such objects are invisible to us. So what does this event horizon mean for us? It means that beyond it lies the unknown. Literally, it could be anything from other universes, as scientists say, to emptiness. The size of this event horizon depends solely on the size of the black hole, so small points for traveling between universes won't do. Did you know that with the help of a black hole, you can completely stop time? The thing is, 
According to the laws of physics, the closer we are to it, the slower time flows. At least for those observing from the outside. Inside the event horizon, time stops altogether. So if your friend ends up in this place, from your perspective, they'll simply freeze forever. And for them, theoretically, time outside will flow so fast that they can literally teleport into the future. In general, it's a very interesting topic that scientists continue to debate. Personally, I want them to hurry up and discover new universes already. I'd love to see other worlds in person. Maybe there won't be mud and dirt there. Surely, you've all heard the name Albert Einstein. This physicist made a real revolution with his theory of gravity. But what is it? It's a physical model of space and time. Essentially, it describes all processes occurring in space and time, and based on this theory, other theories about black holes, multiverses, and portals to other worlds have been created. Einstein concluded that gravity arises from the curvature of space and time. And this means that near objects with huge gravity, time flows differently. Albert's theory was used to justify the theory of black holes, but what's even more notable is the fact that Einstein denied their existence. Overall, this is a very complex topic that is quite difficult to understand. But I think I've grasped it somewhat. In general, gravity can distort reality. Literally, sunlight, which is thought to move in a straight line, is always distorted due to the gravity of heavy objects. And time also begins to flow differently. So it's quite possible that black holes, among other things, become a kind of time machine. Would you like to correct past mistakes? And yet, it's quite real. Well, I found an even more interesting discovery that proves the theory of the Big Bang, portals, and the multiverse. It's called Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation. What is it? It's the cosmic background radiation that uniformly fills the entire universe. It's the same in every point of the world, with the same frequency and temperature. This mysterious radiation was first discovered in the early 1960s, Although its existence was suspected earlier, thanks to the Big Bang Theory. Essentially, cosmic microwave background radiation doesn't come from anywhere, it just exists in every point of space. In practice, this was detected in the USSR in 1955. Scientists, using a special antenna, discovered that everywhere they conducted research, there was background radio radiation. Even where it seemed impossible, and in the 1960s, these experiments were repeated with identical results. Then in 1965, a pair of astronomers built a radio telescope. When they launched it and tried to find something in space, they found that their research was being interfered with by some noise. They cleaned their antenna of bird droppings, tried every way to get rid of it, but wherever they pointed it, there was this noise. And that noise turned out to be the cosmic microwave background radiation. What did this discovery give us? Well, scientists were able to look into the past, billions of years ago. Granted, they still couldn't see the Big Bang itself, but even so, many theories about the existence of parallel worlds were proven. All these discoveries have greatly helped scientists understand the workings of the universe. The existence of black holes has been proven, their structures described and a very real theory of the origin of the world has been created. But there is one mathematical equation according to which a black hole leads to infinity. And all its properties are identical inside and outside. And that's just shocking news. What does this mean for us? Well, it means that the multiverse really exists as do parallel worlds. So black holes are infinite just like our universe. So somewhere out there, Far from our planet, just beyond the event horizon, there's another person who right now is telling your copies the same things I'm telling you now. Now, scientists are faced with only one question. How to get into a black hole without being destroyed? After all, if somehow we manage to do that, then you and I can not only travel between worlds, but also through time. 
But to make that happen, we first need to learn how to exceed the speed of light. Who knows what will happen when that occurs? Maybe time will even go backward? Anyway, only by exceeding the speed of light can we overcome the gravitational pull of a black hole. Here, I'd like to share an interesting theory I heard from one of the internet users. He believes that if we have the ability to infinitely increase our speed, sooner or later, we'll still exceed the speed of light. And with current technologies, unfortunately, that's still impossible. But we are very close to it because people have already invented a thermonuclear reactor that will provide us with an infinite amount of energy during its operation. And also, there is a Hadron Collider that will help uncover the mysteries of black holes. In short, amazing discoveries may await us soon, we just have to wait for them. Today we have delved into mind-blowing theories and facts about multiverses and the origin of our world. What did you like the most? Write about it in the comments!